This is part 33 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a separate routing module for a feature module and along the way, we'll also discuss the difference between router module for root and for chain methods. At the moment, all our application level routes that is home, empty path and wildcard routes and the employee feature routes that is list, create and edit all these routes are present in this one application level routing module, app routing module. Now here is what we want to do for separation of concerns and ease of maintenance. We want to include only the application level routes in this app routing module. The rest of the routes, that is the routes that are related to our employee feature, that is list, create and edit, we want to move them to a separate feature routing module and let's place that feature routing module file in our employee folder. Let's name this file employee-routing.module.ts. Now, before we write any code, let's quickly understand the standard naming convention used to name these feature routing modules. At the moment, we are creating a routing module for employee feature. So we prefix the feature name, in this case employee, and because this is a routing module, we append dash routing dot module. Similarly, if we are creating a routing module for a login feature, the file name would have been login dash routing dot module. And the class name in this file is employee routing module. Similarly, within a login feature routing module file, the class name is login routing module. Now the code in this file is going to be very similar to what we already have in this app routing module. So let's make a copy of this and then change the bits that are required. First, let's change the name of this class from app routing module to employee routing module. Now let's move to the top of the file. We need ng module, so let's leave it there. We also need router module and routes types. So let's leave them there as well. We need list employee component and create employee component, but we do not need home component and page not found components in this file because this file is going to have only the employee feature related routes. And we need to fix the path to these two components right here because the components and the module file are present in the same folder. We don't have to prefix the folder name. As far as the routes are concerned, in this employee routing module, we only want the employee feature related routes, that is list create and edit. So let's remove the application level routes, that is the home route, empty path route and the wild card route. Now here's the important bit to understand. In a feature routing module like this employee routing module, we should be using for child method instead of for root to register our feature routing module routes like list create and edit in this case. There is a specific reason for that. We'll discuss that reason in just a bit. But before that, instead of using for root, let's use for child. Finally, we are re-exporting the router module. So the module that imports this employee routing module will have the router module directives available. Now in our case, employee module is the only module which is going to import this employee routing module. At the moment, our application works just fine irrespective of whether we re-export this router module or not because the employee module which is going to import this employee routing module does not have any top level components that makes use of this router module directives like router outlet, router link, etc. So irrespective of whether we re-export this router module or not, at the moment our application works just fine. But to be future proof, I'm going to leave the router module export right here. Now let's quickly understand the difference between for root and for child methods. In our main application level routing module, we use for root method, whereas in all the feature routing modules like this employee routing module, we use for child method. So what's the difference between these two methods? Well, for root method registers the specified routes. It also creates an instance of the router service and registers it with the Angular's dependency injector. For child method on the other hand, 
only registers the additional specified routes and tells Angular to reuse the router service instance that for root has created. Why is that? Well, Angular services are singletons. So, to ensure that there is only one instance of the router service, for root method should be called only once in the main application routing module. In all the feature routing modules, for child method should be used to register the additional routes. When the for child method is called, Angular router knows it has to only register the additional specified routes and not to re-register the Angular router service. This way, Angular ensures there is only one instance of the router service. So, the key point to keep in mind here is that for root method should be called only once in the main application routing module and in all the feature routing modules like this employee routing module for child method should be called. Now, all our employee feature routes that is list create and edit are present in this employee routing module. So, let's delete those three routes from our main application level routing module. Let's also delete the associated import statements. Our final step is to import this employee routing module in our employee feature module. We also need to include this employee routing module in the imports array. At this point, let's save all our changes and take a quick look at the browser. There we go. We have our home route working. Let's navigate to the list route. That's weird. We see the page not found component view template. Let's navigate to the create route. Same thing. Let's try and edit an employee. Same thing here as well. Let's launch browser developer tools to see if we got any errors. We do not have any errors, but at the moment, none of our employee feature routes are working. So, let's understand the reason for this. Now, if we take a look at our root application module, app module, notice the order in which we have imported app routing module and employee module. We have imported app routing module first and then the employee module. Because of this order, the routes are registered like this. First, the app routing module routes, home, empty path and wildcard and then the employee module routes, list, create and edit. So, at the moment, our home route and empty path routes work but none of these employee feature routes work. That's because this wildcard route is matching all the other routes. So, we are not able to get to any of these employee feature routes. Now, if we comment this wildcard route within our app routing module, the rest of the employee feature routes work. Let's quickly verify that. So, in our app routing module, let's comment this wildcard route. Notice, now our edit route works. Let's verify create, works, list, works, home, works. So, at the moment, all our routes are working. But commenting the wildcard route is not the right thing to do because if the user tries to navigate to a route path that does not exist, we want to display the page not found component template. Now, if we uncomment this wildcard route, our employee feature routes stop working again. Notice now, again, none of our employee feature routes work. So, to properly fix this, all we have to do is change the order in which we import employee module and app routing module. First, import the employee module and then the app routing module. This ensures all the employee feature routes are before the wildcard route. So, for this very important reason, all feature modules should be imported before app routing module. So, in our root application module, app module, let's import this employee module before the app routing module. With the change we just made, all our routes, including the employee feature routes, should work as expected. Our wildcard route also should work. If we try to navigate to a route that does not exist, we see the page not found component template as expected. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.